Hey guys, what's up? It's Ellie here, and we are back with another episode of Dishonored. So, basically, what the last thing we did was was we helped out Granny Rags. We took care of those two guards and put them in a bin, and <laughs> we saved Griff, and he's up there being a little merchant. So now we have him whenever we need anything, which is fantastic. Um, what I want to do now is climb up here. Uh, see if we can blink up there. And just sort of clear these out, these rooms. <sighs> Slip up song. Now this is pretty sad. Basically what happens is, uh, it's got a little family here. He, she. And, um, they don't make it. And they're the last one. And it's a pretty sad story of their, this journal. Um, no, no, it's not this. Yeah, we wrote these. Uh, I think it's this, Mother's Journal. Okay, so it's the mum. You can read through this if you want. You can pause and just read through it. So, yeah, it's basically a mother who, you know, watches her family die, which which really sucks. It's really sad. And there's a bunch of sad little things like that. Like in the beginning, we saw the two, the couple kind of holding each other because they couldn't afford... The elixir to save themselves which is really really sad so basically yeah um depressing thanks for the feels this on it thanks for the the feels i can shoot i really needed that there are double health elixirs here which is very helpful a rewire tool per fuel box some sleep darts coins processed whale oil more processed whale oil, some food, we get a little munchy, and some jellied, jellied eels. Um, this is a very cool loot, loot spot. This room and the previous room, um, here, that balcony, this is where the assassins will be, the, uh, the whalers. This will also be, this will also be barricaded, and that will be a, uh, weeper in here, and... Um, there's also a couple of good loot in there, uh, so it is important that you come here and you take out those assassins, you try and take out that weeper before you try, because you don't want the weeper to turn around and see you. I can't remember whether that counts, but I'm pretty sure it breaks a ghost, so you don't want that weeper turning around and seeing you. Um, also, there's also a, uh, a third assassin that sits here. So you gotta be careful on this one because if you're doing non-lethal, you don't want him to fall and die. So, <laughs> yeah, basically take out that one maybe first, that one, and then sort of sneak up on this one and just put a sleep dart in him. And he's all good. Um, loot from them, good loot. But yeah, uh, what are we doing now? That's right, we're doing Granny Rags's mission because it doesn't ruin your playthrough if you're doing a non-lethal ghost. Not at all. Don't think that. Um, we might go back up here. Just to sort of jump up there. Oh, okay, that was fantastic. I didn't want that to happen, but sure. We'll just do it manually then. Just climb up. And... Look up on this roof. I don't want anyone to see me. There should be some King Sparrow feathers. Um, oh, oof. Oof. What? What is your problem? I've never had that issue. Now, is there anything here that I've missed? Probably. Probably. There's probably stuff in that little room there. That's okay. Um. There's usually some loot there. I don't know why there's no loot. Did I... Oh, there we go. Some King's Parry feathers. I knew it. I knew my stuff. Alright, Galvani's office. Alright. We're gonna say hello to Dr. De Galvani. Hmm. There's a safe here. Now, I know the combination, but I'm gonna show you guys how to find the combination for it. So I don't, you know, ruin the fun. This is worth some money. And we can go into here. 
We don't have to really sneak around this room. We have to sneak in a second. There'll be some guys having a conversation in there. We could be a rat and go through there, but we don't have that power yet. So, keyhole. Wait, did you touch the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor said. Vital essences? Does that mean guts? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can we just- No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. Meyer's new elixir is twice as good against the plague. I don't understand how Galvani so can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. Oh, I didn't know that about Sokolov. going to be like when <laughs> we're married? It is, isn't it? Aww. I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. <laughs> I probably will be. But trust me, that doesn't change. And not that I know, but anyway. So, yeah, so basically they're together. It's really cute watching them have their little uh, back and forth. But sad when you realize, hey, he's, uh, he's touched the door handle. He's got that rat shit on him. And unfortunately, that means when we take him out, we don't kill him. Oh my god, Jesus fucking Christ. What? Dude, lady, wh when in e when ever have you <laughs> walked back out of that room? I do not remember that ever. See the crap out of me. She's walking towards me. I'm like, I don't know what the fucking do now. That's all right. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I'll put you on the bed. It'll be fine. Beautiful. Beautiful bed jump. That's really freaking creepy. Why would you want that? Like, in your room, like, really? So. Alright, let's read his journal. Okay, at the boiler state. <laughs> of course, I won't attend. The 28th day of the 7th month. The month of high cold is the day I met Anton Sokolov at the academy. Why would I tarnish the anniversary of the most important day of my life by licking aristocratic boots? I have no time for fools. I will be solving the riddle of this plague. Perhaps I'll raise a cup of tivy and red. So, Dr. Galvani has been inspired by Sokolov to do what he does. And it was on the 28th day of the 7th month of high cold that he met Anton Sokolov. His inspiration. So it would only make sense that uh, after we pick up these things, that... Uh, that's what the safe combination would be and that is how you figure out that safe combination it's it's kind of cute let's be honest let's be honest it's pretty adorable uh two eight that's two that's eight seven no 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 yeah wonderful let's just get some gold ingots we get 200 coins that's right now, now that we have our dark vision, nice. we can see this happening. See him being a guard. We wanted to. Carly's going to see us. Do you know it? Hey, dude. <laughs> And there he goes. Alright, dude. Because I want to give this guy the biggest chance of survival that we can, because, poor thing. Um, we're going to hide away from the rats and we're going to put him next to his fiance. Never called her name. 
and then we're going to close the door. I want to give this guy the benefit of the doubt. I want to make sure that, you know, he's okay. Or maybe I'm effectively giving her the plague too. I don't know, but I'm trying to do well. So it's a thought that counts, right? It's a thought that friggin' counts. I'm not trying to be terrible. Okay. So as far as I know, there might be another, maybe another two guards. I don't know. I feel like when you come back the second time, there's way more cleaning instructions. Yeah, I feel like. All right, let's take this. Grab this. Spring raises. There you go. Ah, no. Right, do I have enough runes to actually, um... Oh, okay, okay. How do I, uh... Oh, there we go. But we need three for the blink. What have we got here? Swing your sword slightly faster. Potions give you slightly more health. Alright, for now that's what we'll do. Hey, guys. Now, there's another section where you can open the door and all these rats are sort of in there. But if you open the door, they'll all run out and attack any guards that you have left unconscious on the ground. Which is why I've put those two guys in that room because it protects them. But the thing is those rats will then try and attack you. So you gotta make sure that you take them out. Rats don't count as kills obviously so it's safe. Now, yeah, there are no guards in here. Turns around, there's a guard. Globe, you must always spin the globe when you see the globe. In Dr. Galvani's lab, there are a lot of strange things because obviously he's doing his research on his rats and other animals. There are little rat fetuses everywhere. And as terrifying and creepy as they are, it's always fun to pick them up. Because they look like little, um, I don't know how to explain it. I swear they look like something from another game, like a horror game. I can't remember what particular game. They look like, as well from the forest, those little demon babies almost. I don't know. They look like, they remind me of something. I don't, if you guys can figure it out, please tell me. Um, it's really disturbing, but if you pick them up and throw them into the fire, they, uh, oh, where did it go? It's here. They, uh, they burn. So, I'm sorry, I'm done with being terrible. There's another rat fetus there. I'll, I'll leave them for later when we come back. It's a fake book. What's also really fun is closing this back up after you're gone. And when there's another guard patrolling around here, you can get the guard stuck behind that thing and take him out. I might try and do that next time. So we've got that, we've got a couple coins. Got a book. Um, I usually always read the books just because if I ever want to come back, I, you know, if I want to go back and, and read a couple things, then I can do that, you know, in my own time. And they're quite interesting. Sometimes you get some really good stories. It's kind of like when you read books in, in the Elder Scrolls. Um, sometimes you get real dud books, and then sometimes you get really, really good, interesting books, books that kind of pull you into the story and stuff. So, definitely worth picking up a book and getting it logged in your journal. Especially because there's no carry weight in this game, so... Pick up what you can, basically. So there's one thing I haven't done, I haven't gone down to the bottom level. I have a feeling that... be a guard down on that bottom bottom level yeah see these two guards this is where we can either leave it and leave them be or we can take them out and I'm pretty sure down there is where though that big thing of rats is I have a feeling unless I just missed them before so what I might do is maybe that guy So, if 
effectively, I could I could take out that guy, trick him out. Yeah, I knew that he might do that. I was like, oh, as I'm run down, I'm like, do I really want to do this? Do I really want to? Do I don't listen to this audio graph. Why not? Plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat, but in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence. Although the experiments there are not complete, coriander zoological survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Would they have been introduced on purpose, perhaps by a foreign power? Very interesting. Very interesting to consider the fact that these plague rats were not an accident, that they actually happened with the intention to kill a lot of people and take out Dunwall, maybe. And, you know, who knows who would have done this? I'm pretty sure we've been through this, right? Been through this door? Yeah, we've been through this one. To take out the city with another political power, another, another like, island or, like, you know what I mean? Some land that wanted, they wanted to take over Dunwall. Was it something like a supernatural being? Like, did Delilah do it? I don't know. There's a lot of a lot of questions there. I don't know. Haven't really thought too much about it, but it's interesting. And I'd love to see if this gets introduced later. And by later, I mean in the second game. I'm gonna put him in this room on the floor. He doesn't deserve to be on the bed with the couple. But I'll, I'll save him. Alright, so what I might do is... There's probably a way around here, right? We're in the kitchen. Yeah, he's there. Alright, so we gotta take out these two guards. How are we gonna do that, Ellie? I'm gonna figure it out. I'm just gonna go for it. And by go for it, I mean fuck it up real bad. If fuck it up real bad, I mean, ah, that was pretty good. Now, there is a hand. That's not scary. No, I don't put him on this table. Why is there an arm? I mean, no one's gonna touch that arm. There's a door there, so the rats aren't gonna eat it. Pick up that elixir. Oh, we didn't mean to move that. That's right, he didn't see us. It's okay. Yeah, let's use uh, our dark vision. Oh, no, it's coming back. No, no, stupid cat. We got him. All right. And we'll put him on the kitchen table. Hopefully the rats won't be able to grab his foot there. Just in case they can. Let me just try and position him properly. So I don't want, I don't want them being eaten. I don't want to be eaten. But, you know. Which is why, what I'm going to do here... Maybe move him too. Because now that I think about it, that uh, reaction to the spring razor might hit him as well. Don't fall. 
I'm thinking what I might do is put a spring razor down here. Get these keys. That didn't. All right, sure. There's a remedy in here. I swear to god there was more loot. But sure. So it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter at all. Which is fantastic, right? Now we want the rats to come attack us, so we're just gonna leave them there. <laughs> and we're gonna leave through this door here. Go to Clavering Boulevard. Alright, cool. So now what we're gonna do is... I mean, I think... Get that heart out. There's a rune somewhere down there. So we're gonna go across there. And we don't have enough to increase our blink. So what I'm going to attempt to do may not work, but I'm pretty sure I've done it before, so it should. Um, but if it doesn't, I mean... Oh, here we go, actually. Let's head into the distillery district. Now, the assassin's here yet. I know that they show up and I they like to ruin things, so... The last thing I want to do is run into them when I could just avoid them. Right. And break my legs. Okay. That's fun. Hey, good. Here you go. So, we have to get into the distillery district. Sneak in. Place the right guts. Get another rune. Then we have three runes. We can talk to Granny Rags. She can give us that third rune. We can upgrade Blink. And... We can get over that wall of light. I don't know why that was so hard to, to walk past. But sure. So, I mean, generally sneaking in here should be easy. We just don't want these two sitting there to... ...see anything. There we go. There we go. Now, I just want to check, is there an auto-save button? Because I'd really like to do that rather than saving over and over again on like a... Thing, so we're just gonna look for an auto save button because it's a pretty quick save. Yeah, that's what I mean. F five, sweet. Let's uh, let's try that out. All right, that should work. Oh, I got anything in here that's worth anything? No. Um, so we've got a trip wire. We've got this room here, but easily we can sort of get past this. And we just avoid those two up there. Not to the Abbey or the office of the High Overseer, but one of the other places where they train the overseers to be real idiots. Crazy. He just wants to know where his brothers go. So he's taking a piss. We're gonna take him out. I knew that was going to happen, that's why I auto-saved. I had a feeling I was just going to walk out there and he was going to be there. So we'll go back. So like I said, you side with Granny Rags, Slackjaw. You're not actually doing anything or like locking yourself in to anything by doing any like these missions. 
Jesus fuck. So we'll just do that. Run off. Forget it even existed. Now I hear that bone jar. There's also a book here. The rat plague. I'm pretty sure I've read that book like twice. Oh, there's remedy then. Yeah, sweet. Is there anything on these buckets? Buckets, these barrels. Yeah, explosive boil. No, no, no. I just I prefer low chaos. Um, I. There we go. I feel like it's more challenging and it's fun, and it is canon. It is the way the game is supposed to be played. So. When you play low chaos, you know, you know, firstly you're doing the right thing. It is really fun to try and be sneaky and try and take everyone out. Can't carry any more of these. Okay. You know? Didn't expect anyone to do that. Oh, that's right. So, infect. Now what this does, this does kill a lot of guys, and this does affect the amount of weepers around, so, you know, this whole place is going to be full of weepers next time you visit. But, um, this still, you're still doing ghosts. You're still doing ghosts, technically. You're not killing anyone, really. Now, did I have a feeling, or did I have a feeling? And I broke my legs. But that's okay. <laughs> and we can set this up now, that's fine. So they're all there. Technically, if we're real quick, we can just sort of like... And we're done. Now... We can be a little sneaky. I'm trying to run across here and just pick up some stuff. They might see us. They probably will. They might not. Recipe for cracks. Yeah, that's. All right, let's go up this book here. And now, we have link. Oh, that's dark vision. There we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, there we go. Got some apples. We got some pouches. Got anything up here? Meat. All this stuff. Um, I'm not sure if it's there when you come back, so I sort of like just take whatever just in case, you know? Because you never know. So now you can possess a rat and go head through there. Or you can just head back. With that key, head through the door, and be on your merry way. Now, what we want to do is ensure that those two guards we want to get up there. What? And there we go. We have infected. Their elixir, which is pretty shitty of us. We it's kind of mean. But uh you know we had to. We had to. We need to do it for that rune. We need to do it for Granny Rag. She's she you know, 
She believes in us. We don't want to let it down. And Slackjaw will never know that it was us. And we'll be fine with our relationship with Slackjaw. Which, um... Yeah, means that we haven't chosen a side technically yet. We choose a side later on. And after you do this shit for, for Slackjaw is, uh... Then, whenever you come across them both again is the time when you actually physical combat. Is that guy up there? No? Oh, okay. Right, that was just a pipe. Yeah, so. You'll do some stuff for just like your and I think it has to do with that art dealer. And that'll be it. You won't hear from either again, I don't think. And then there'll be a point where they both are in the same room. And if you don't know about that mission, I won't spoil it for you. Oh god. Never, 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 never. Excuse me. Grand. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Now I can stroll along the waterfront in peace. And don't think I've forgotten your little gift. Go on upstairs. And here we go. We got our rune. She wouldn't put the crack on the right side of the tree. So we sacked her. There we go. So now we can go to our powers, upgrade blink, and we can do what I wanted to do. It's a it's a hard jump, regardless of whether you've upgraded blink or not, I guess. But it can be done. It can definitely be done. So, excuse me while I try and figure out how to do this exactly, because I haven't done it in a long time. you got to get on this thing. Which, I think, means we got to try and get on this. Alright. Get on that. Okay. So, I guess it is pretty easy with the upgraded blink. But if you didn't upgrade blink, you'll have to do a lot of running... And then blinking and, you know, trying to time it all right. But I guess with your upgraded blink, it makes it a lot easier. I haven't done that in a bit, so. Easy as pie. Just sort of flip through here. Now, we've got, uh, my stomach is rumbling. I'm so sorry. I'm hungry. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> After this, I'm going to dig into some food. You guys feel me? Okay. Uh, Alright, so now the reason we want to come here and we want to try and take out these two guys is because there's a rune. We use Dark Vision, which is probably enough. Alright, so he's in there. We took him out, that's enough, right? Didn't say this was going to stay a non-lethal playthrough, did I? No, exactly. Exactly. So let's go to the High Overseer's office and we'll take out the High Overseer. And we'll save Overseer Martin. Alright guys, so I decided this video was getting a little lengthy, so I cut it in half. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. All my social media links are in the description below. And subscribe for more Let's Plays and more Dishonored content. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!